is it, teams, the grand finale. Yeah. Where a winner will be crowned Rock the Block champions. And a new street sign will be hung. Oh my gosh, okay. In week six, you'll all be moving on up to yet another new space. The third floor bonus room. The top floor. It's 500 square feet with a ton of design possibilities. Having that third floor space is the cherry on top of the house, quite literally in this case. This is one space that you can really get creative with. If you've saved money, you'll also be free to tackle any extra spaces. And how you do that is 100% up to you. Judging you is a team that has stood in your shoes. Last season's Rock the Block champions the stars of 100 Day Dream Home, Brian and Mika Kleinschmidt. Woo! We judged last year and- Brian and um, Mika, and Mika was not happy with us. We really almost picked yours, Mika, and Brian, you did such a great job. So. I'm all pissed. You could have been a little braver okay. with the design. It was the safest space. Safe sales. We did not make the Christmas list. <laughs> no. Also joining us, the real estate titan, who led things on the block in season one. One half of HGTV's iconic Property Brothers duo, Mr. Drew Scott. All right. Yes. It all comes down to this final push. Finish strong and good luck. All right. Thanks, Ty. Proud of you guys. How are we looking in here, babe? We are looking great, baby. Okay, this is it. This is it. Our last chance to give it all we got. In the second floor bedroom. We opened up the wall between the bedroom and the bathroom to make it a legal ensuite. That adds value. Yes, it does. Babe, we have four ensuites. Four ensuites. Do you think any other team thought to make four ensuites? I don't think so. We added a full bathroom upstairs with a shower, and that is bringing us extra value on our appraisal. Because it does have the bathroom and the big closet, yeah. what if we did stage this as like a giant second main bedroom in the house? This would be our sixth bedroom or another living space. Buyers can't always envision living space unless you show them living space. Okay. If we stage it as a bonus media hangout, then this wall is where we have the big screen. We're gonna use it as a media room so buyers can see it that way, our appraiser can see it that way, but we do get the credit for bedroom and bathroom. Okay, happy we have a plan. Yep. We managed to get this space turned around from demo to paint basically overnight. Oh, man. It is like a spa. I love this color. This is a color Drew could appreciate, I feel like. I mean, it's bright, it's happy. Our plans for this space are rather ambitious, and we only have a few more days until the final judging. Luckily, we have a lot of experience with super tight schedules. Keith, look at this sauna kit. How many hundreds of pieces is this? This probably gonna take a whole day to install this. We did allocate a decent amount of money to the sauna, and I think it adds a huge amount of value, because that is luxury. Yeah. What is all that? It's the offcuts of the panel wall and the loft. I'm gonna sand them down and stain them, and we'll cover the wall with them, and there'll be little tea light holders. It is very much for the ambiance. I'm imagining a massage table, yoga mats, a wall of flames. We only have three days left. Don't you think we've done enough projects at this point? I would say with how much we're spending on this space, every detail has to be perfect at this point. So I can sleep later when they're judging it, but we got to pull this thing off. Once we get this in, it's all gonna be downhill. It's gotta sit like this. Ty only gave us four days this week. And even if we had all seven days, it would still be a challenge to get this slide in. First, we've gotta get the slide in place. Then we've gotta secure it. Then we've gotta build a landing zone with a playhouse around it. Then create an enclosure for the bonus room. It's a lot, but it's all gonna be worth it. Are you sure this is safe? Only one way to find out. Oh my gosh, it's really fast! <laughs> In front of my eye. Hour and a half to do both rooms. No more last minute projects. Drew's coming. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm panicking. I hope they like this wall treatment. We have 35 minutes. You never know. Brian and Mika didn't win anything, and then they won the last of it. They gotta love it. So fun. 
Lindsay, you got about five minutes. It's our last chance, babe. We gotta get it. There you go. All right. The space. I think the first word that comes to mind is welcoming. That's a big kitchen. There's a reason why Dave and Jenny won the kitchen. The way that they yes. flipped the island around. Move the dining space to have this open flow to the slider. Man, look at that island. I feel like you can definitely have the additional seating there, prep space. Just feels really nice and clean. More custom woodwork. I mean, look at this vanity. Oh, yeah. It's unique. It's going to make it feel that much more organic. Nice that they have the massive walk-in shower and the standalone, plus where the tub placement is, you get the water view again. I was going to say, another great view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to get outside and see that view. Yes. Yeah, let's, let's it. check it out. Right into the oh. outdoor space. Oh, my gosh. It really is gorgeous. I love that hanging day bed feel over here. Yeah. Cozy. Oh, yeah, look at this. That is amazing. Oh, there's a slide. There's a slide what that goes all the way in up. in the world? I don't want to talk about this. I want to test this. Yeah, let's uh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a fun space. It's Wait, definitely a it fun space, and it has everything except there's no bathroom up here. I feel like not having a bathroom up here is really going to kill them in appraised value. Let's see how we feel after this. I know. Bye, Drew. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you make it? I made it. Here comes Brian, head first. Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> Look Whoa. at the bold character as soon as you come in. Yes. We are so oh. proud of this house. I love it more than any home we've ever done. They made some really bold color choices, yeah. but they're working. This is a bold color for the cabinets, and I have blue cabinets in my kitchen. Yeah. I love it. What? I almost feel like this is a luxury spa in New York or something like that. That is just gorgeous. And you have two showers. Kudos to them to find a nice tile that can tie into the colors of the vanity and what they have for the wallpaper. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I just love you have this view to the water. They're creating this little outdoor oasis. The vertical wall here, I love this. Not really a hard value add, but it does look really cute. And it's so important, especially for buyers, to see themselves in every single room. Yeah, design, aesthetic. Should we talk about the elephant in the room or no? <laughs> <laughs> another level, another opportunity. Oh, this is the theater room. This is cool too, because it's tucked away from everything. Every family loves having an extra space for the kids. It's almost like an extra suite up here. Yeah. Well, it is, and actually, that's a value add right there. Right. Because this could even be the main bedroom suite if you wanted. I love that there's a bathroom in here as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. There's a simple sophistication to this space. Hold on Hold a second. On. There used to be a wall there, right no, there. there you, there's a wall here. So connecting that area over the garage with this hall, but then you have the coat rack over here, all the shoe area. That's smart because it's hidden, but it's still functional. Nice. Oh. I like it. They won the living room and entry challenge. Everywhere you could add storage, connecting where the mudroom is, you have it. Look at all the stonework that they have over here. Yeah. That looks like something that was probably an original house. So yeah. it almost feels like you've built on and modernized the original charm of a home. This is a great space. Everywhere I look is value. Oh my goodness. Here's the other closet. Oh, so there so is. they did another closet. Yeah, which is smart. They had to. The tub is gorgeous, freestanding, tons of storage. I love how much storage smart. they have over here. It's a huge shower. Look at that. You also have the technology in oh, here. Oh, like it's a smart, smart shower. There's plenty of room for two. Should we see if there's room for three? I'm OK. <laughs> 
Look at the view. Yes. Yeah. Interesting though, they don't have any fence on the side giving privacy from the neighbor and they have no fence in behind and anybody can walk up and down here. So privacy with a fence does add value. This is definitely different. So wait, there was a door over here before. Oh, they actually added the bathroom on this side. It's a really smart oh. use of space. Having an ensuite in a bedroom is a value add. Believe it or not, there is still more house to see. Let's do it. Oh, look at this, moody. This is no longer a home, this is the theater. This is still considered a bedroom. True. You have its own bathroom, you have a closet. Six bedrooms, five bathrooms. When you have that many bathrooms, you are adding value. We've got one more house to see, but I'd love to stay here and watch a movie. Oh my goodness. We'll come back for a movie. Whoa, look at this. Oh. My goodness. That showstopper. Whoa. This is amazing. Woo. From the exterior to the inside, I don't think I would have guessed that this is what would be behind that front door. Rock the Block always has someone who goes really bold with the design. I think you can see that here. This is it. Oh, this is like walking into a magazine. I have never seen a bathroom like this. I it's feel so like open. that yes. is a showstopper shower. Certain structural, architectural details like the shower, I think you are adding value. Oh, there's, yeah. there's a uniqueness. Dual water closets. Smart. Almost every other house we saw, they wanted to infuse where we're at in Charleston. This house takes you away right. to another dimension. You have the garden, the fire, fire pit. pit. I think this is my favorite yard out of all of them. Is this the same house? This is your in-house wellness room. They have a sauna, a steam room oh, here. Oh my goodness. It looks cool. I think people would love the idea of having a yoga room or a health room, but that wall with all the candles, it's just not functional. Yeah. It's time. The winner of Rock the Block is. <laughs> Egypt Ember! Oh my gosh. We were confident. We tried to do the smart things that we knew to do, but yeah. at the same time, we were scared. Yeah.